Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 599. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 597 to 603. In this trick here, someone added, asked about <coughs> adding a column of numbers and rounding to the number of digits displayed. Uh, now let's stick in a, just look at an example here. I'm going to add this column of numbers up. I get 44, and when you add it manually in your head, uh, you can see that that is 44. Now, what do I get here? It looks like the same numbers. Alt equals is the keyboard shortcut for auto sum. Why do I get 45? The reason is because there are decimals that are being hidden by formatting. They're still there. If you click in this cell right here, you can see there's a decimal there. Formatting does not remove the decimals. Formatting is like paint on the outside of the house. Formatting is like a Halloween mask. You put it on the surface, but one, what's underneath can be different. So if I increase the decimals here for all of these, you can see now I get it. It just looked like it was 45, right? It follows the rule for rounding, but just visually, just on the surface, Right? So the only way, I mean, the, there are a few ways to do that. You can actually permanently uh, show uh, hack off decimals that are not showing in options, but I'm not going to do that. That seems to be a, a deadly method to me. I'm going to come over here. Same thing here. These numbers are still there. I'm going to do the sum, which is what I wanted, and the round. Highlight all of these. And you have to know, whoops, we're rounding. And by the way, the round function is expecting a single number here. The fact that we're going to give it uh, more than one number means that we're putting more than one number into an argument that's expecting one. This makes it an array formula. So you have to enter this with Control Shift Enter. But now, you need to know, comma, how many digits are displayed. There are zero here. So zero rounds to the integer, two rounds to the penny right to the two positions to the right of the decimal place. So I'm going to put a zero here, close parenthesis on the round, close parenthesis on the sum, and if I hit enter, I'm going to get a value error. A value error tells you that your array formula was not entered correctly. You have to use control shift enter. And so that is one way to do it. Now, I don't think I've ever done it this way. I know people do it this way out there in the working world, but I don't think I've ever done that myself because the method to use is equals round. Now usually you're doing payroll or something like that so you have a calculation here but I'm just going to click on that. Remember that's 2.4 comma 0. That's the way you should do it. You should actually hack off the, the decimals officially because that's what round will do. Even if I increase the decimals you can see they're not there and then you just use alt equals. Nevertheless in lots of circumstances uh, this sum with round using control shift enter that'll put the curly brackets in that's the visual cue that this is an array formula sometimes that's just the method you want to use all right we'll see you next trick